we've got to talk about your new show, John Richardson Grows Up, that starts on Channel 4. Yes. On Monday. Yes. Yeah. 10 p.m. Yeah. Wagwan. <laughs> That tequila's kicked in, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it's... Uh, What's it about? You're trying to find happiness, aren't you? Yeah, it was about... Well, we lived together when we were sort of turning 30, and then we, we, you just get to that point in your life where you have to move out and take some big decisions. You can't live with your mates all your yeah. life, can you? You've got to settle down and yeah. think about getting married and having kids and, um, you know, yeah. getting pensions and all that oh, nonsense. I know, I know. So it's about that, really. It's about whether those things that everyone does are the right things to do or whether everyone just does it because everyone does it. So we went on the trip together because you tend to be more optimistic. I tend to assume the worst. So this was about going on the trip. It was about, like, for example, people who've been married three or four times. Yes, yes. There are people out there they call optimists yeah. who would say, let's try again to be happy. Yeah. Whereas I would say, try it. If you shit at it, just get good at being miserable. Yeah. <laughs> You're in a relationship at the moment with the lovely Lucy, aren't you? Yes, thank yeah. you, yes. Yes, yes. Now, are you worried that you're going to get too happy? <laughs> Sort of. Cos that, you know... It's not good for comedy, is it, happiness? I mean, you were celibate for most of your 20s. <laughs> no, you were. <won't. laughs> I mean, something's wrong when I'm getting more pussy than you are. In the first thing, you go to a swingers party, yeah? Mm -hmm. I love the way you've got a gig, you can't go. You... Oh, yeah. No way. That was the most upset I've been about missing anything. I remember missing football games when I was a kid and always felt bad. Missing that swingers part, I'm still livid about it. I can't believe we couldn't have done it on a different day. I feel like if there was one thing I really wanted to be at, <laughs> regardless of this yeah. road trip, it was a swingers party. Really? Yeah, that's bucket list stuff, for, oh. for a better phrase, but I wanted to be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really wanted to be there, man. Yeah. I think this enthusiasm is why Channel 4 stepped in. It's <laughs> 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 yeah. Matt a gig for the evening to get him out. You can't go to a swingers party going, I just want you to know I really want to come to this. This <laughs> <laughs> is proper bucket list shit. <laughs> Sweet. I mean, every... I mean, every red, red male or female... Who doesn't want to go to a swingers party? I don't want to go to a swingers party. I don't like all these people being open about sex, you know what I mean? You know, you get, like, these documentaries, I've sex in a lay-by, I've sex with all... I liked it when people were ashamed of sex and were... <laughs> you know what I mean? And were pixelated and spoke like that cos they'd hidden their voices, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't like all this, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, every hole's a go and all this <laughs> lot. No. <laughs> No, wrong. Oh. <laughs> Let's have a look at a clip. This is John deciding if he should give swinging a go in John Richardson Grows Up. Is everyone who comes here tonight going to have sex? No. 10% of the people coming have no sex at all, but they just love the atmosphere. Another 20% have sex only with themselves, with soy, <laughs> within in a couple, there. monogamously. Oh, I see. And the rest will mix in somewhere or other. So 70% have come here to... Well, have we'll, we'll end up having sex with. Actually, in three instances, people have brought their parents. I have to say it has worked, but it is exceptional. Jesus. <laughs> what? 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 How would you come to bring your parents to an event like this? I don't think I would. No, I don't think I would. Well, but it's like <sighs> if you've got a woman who's found um, a really super hairdresser, what kind of mum would say, and don't you dare try and find out where the hairdresser is. If something's good at something and it gives pleasure, you want to share it, don't you, if you're a good parent? A choppy bob's different to having a gangbang, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please let that be the title of your next talk. <laughs> <laughs> You, you know John better mm. than anyone. Mm. Why is he such a worrier? Do you know what I mean? How can we turn that frown upside down? Well, that's what we're trying to do on this, on this road trip that we went on, really. He's been the most intense... Like, well, we've both known him years. Uh, he was always very wise for his age, but also I always thought he was a bit immature. Wise. Was... I love that. Well, he's... Know all. <laughs> <laughs> wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bit of a know all. But also, you know, carries the weight of the world on his shoulders. Yes, he um, does, yes. In a way that isn't healthy. I'll just leave you to it. <laughs> so, no, I just feel like you need a bit of a tickle. You know what I mean? Oh, no, 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 no. No. I've learned the hard way. <laughs> yeah. You love rats in your bed by the time you get home. <laughs> really? Yeah, don't really? touch it, man. Yeah, don't you like being tickled? Everyone loves a tickle, don't they? No. no. It caused no. problems when we lived together. I used to pin him down because I couldn't stand, like, not touching him. <laughs> well, you are, like, you just can't stand him down, so completely different. 
To be fair, I can... <laughs> I can give it, but I can't take it. Yeah, he dogs a lot of it out. I like, I like to tickle. But you I like, like to be tickled. Oh, I see. But it's him, you see, he gives, you give so much. Like... <laughs> Just a very little bit, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Well, really... that's the thing, yeah. I don't... He, uh... <laughs> <laughs> he, used to he used to touch me places. I'm getting... I still remember how bad it made me feel. <laughs> My God. But please, he would... I thought he would... <laughs> if you've been affected by any of the issues... <laughs> at least before that. <laughs> Phone this number. Good luck with the show. Good, Good luck. luck. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, <mate. laughs> Good <laughs> luck at the show. My God, this is affecting my accent. <laughs> Good luck with the show. Thank you very much, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> <That's laughs> <all right. laughs> <laughs> and it's on Monday, at 10, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. For three weeks. Oh, fantastic. Give it up for Matt Ford <laughs> and John Richardson. <laughs>